Hello, today I'm going to show you how to do uh, a tasty, simple, inexpensive meal for one. Uh, we're going to make um, shrimp tacos or shrimp soft tacos or wraps to be specific. Um, this is something that would be great for a college student too uh, because I'm trying to use the, you know, do this on the cheap. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do something that's extremely flavorful, extremely easy, very quick to do, uh, and something that you can have uh, kind of leftover parts with that you can pair with something else. Um, let's get started because I'm hungry. So on my counter here is all the stuff that we're potentially going to need. Uh, and this is stuff that you can get very inexpensively. If we're going to make soft tacos, the best thing to do is get some of these family packs, even the smaller packs of flour tortillas. The family pack has 20 of them in there, and um, it was $3.30. These things last forever in the fridge, too. The nice thing is as long as you keep them sealed, they'll stay fresh in your refrigerator for a very long time. I found some in the back of my fridge that were six months old that's still just as fresh as the day I got them. So it's amazing how long they'll last. Um, you'll probably use them before that. Main ingredient is some sh salad shrimp. This is cooked salad shrimp. Um, and I did say cheap, right? Okay, here's the thing. Salad shrimp are smaller than your dipping shrimp or uh, shrimp that people tend to want to put in a cocktail or something like that. So they're cheaper. This was $5, and that was normal price. So you can find a bag of these things pretty regularly for about five or six bucks, and you only need a handful to make a couple of these wraps. So these things will last you quite a long time. Uh, you can do various things with them to, um, you know, warm up a couple and throw them in a salad real quick, uh, or uh, some pasta, you can get some linguine um, or fettuccine and a bottle of alfredo sauce warm up some of these maybe a little garlic salt or uh, garlic seasoning on them throw it in and you've got shrimp uh, fettuccine alfredo super cheap super easy to do um, i like onions so i'm going to chop up some onions i'm going to cook most of these in with it and um, the rest i'm going to put on raw you can do it however you prefer um, I'm, I like cheese, so I'm going to add some sharp cheddar cheese, although you don't need to do that. You can use your good old-fashioned sliced American cheese. I don't know what this stuff is made of. I'm not even sure it's from this planet, but it lasts forever in the fridge. It's cheap, and it has a good flavor to it, so just strip, rip up some of this and throw in your uh, wrap as well. I like to have some veggies to go on there. The easiest way to get a good variety is find yourself a home style salsa. Now you can get a mild if you don't like it spicy. This one is a medium, um, and it gives you you know all of your veggies already ground up right there, tomatoes and all kinds of other good things, and um, it adds a, adds a great flavor to your your food. Maybe a little bit of salt and pepper. Big secret ingredient right here. Okay, not, maybe not so secret. Taco seasoning. You're, we're going to make a wrap here that's kind of a Mexican flavor inspired, so you got to do something to give it that flavor. And the best way to do that is to just get a packet of, like this is a Taco Bell original taco seasoning. You've got Old El Paso. You've got all the different brands out there that you're used to seeing. Just get a packet. You don't need to add the whole packet. Just enough to flavor whatever you're making. So if you're doing small portions, one of these packets like this, will last four or five servings easily, and they're like a buck. Um, I'm also going to add in some lime juice. Just before I get through uh, cooking the shrimp, I'm going to squirt a little bit of lime juice on there to, for that little bit of acid punch to it. Really kicks things up a notch. Um, and I suggest you get these little containers, lemon juice or lime juice. They're only a buck or two, and again, these keep in your fridge for a very long time. If you're a college student and got one of these at the beginning of your college year, by the time your college year is over, chances are you'll still have this in the fridge and it'll still be good. Um, so you can use it for all kinds of stuff. So let's get to cooking. Alrighty, first thing I've done is 
put just a tiny little bit of butter in my pan. And um, my pan's a little bigger than what I need, that's fine. And we're gonna toss the shrimp in here and just let them start thawing out. It won't take very long. And you can put a cover on this to hold the heat in and that will help it a little bit. Um, while I'm doing that, because these shrimp cook really quickly, I'm gonna put my onion in. Save a little bit for uh, putting directly on my um, wraps. I don't want to put this in until closer to the end. We want to have them thaw out a little bit and I don't want to use my lime juice until the end so we're going to let that cook a little bit too. I'm going to put a light salt and this is a literally light salt. This is 50% uh, less sodium because it's not just but this is a uh, uh, potassium chloride as well as sodium chloride so you get the same flavor but the sodium is uh, you don't get the sodium just a little bit of pepper on there just because I like the pepper and we're gonna let that stuff kind of start cooking I've only got this up medium or just a little below medium because we just really want to heat it, not scorch it. Now, I'll show you another thing while we're waiting that you can do for your salsa so it's not all liquidy and watery. Okay, so we were over here at uh, our little plate and we got our little dollar Walmart plate because, you know, if you're a college student. Take yourself some salsa and this is uh, probably plenty, maybe a little bit more than we'll need for uh, two wraps there. Oops. And while it's the stuff is cooking, I'm going to elevate this plate a little bit here and see how the stuff is already draining off. Your water will drain out of this. Don't lift it up too much, otherwise all your salsa will slide down too. Uh, but you can spread it out a little bit. Give the water you know, ample room to move down through there. But this will drain out a lot of your liquid and your salsa will be less watery. So when you bite into it and hold that wrap, you've got a lot less leaking out because this is gonna be messy. Messy food is good food. Okay, in just that little sharp, short time, our shrimp have started to thaw and you know because they'll shrink actually. You don't wanna leave them in too long. We're just warming them, warming them up because they're already pre-cooked. Uh, and shrimp will shrink and get slightly rubbery, which I don't really mind that a whole lot. I'm going to bump the heat up just a hair here. And while this liquid is here from the, you know, water that was on here and the stuff uh, leaching out of the onions, that's perfect to use for my seasoning. And that's about all I need there. Set that aside. Since my pan is a lot bigger than I need it, do this. And you see that's looking pretty good there, isn't it? Now, see the liquid is already cooking out. That liquid will cook out pretty quickly. So I'm going to add in a little bit of this. And we're going to go right back to tossing this in our lime juice. And I'm going to turn off the stove burner and let that sit there so it'll stay warm. Now let's move over to our tortilla station. Alrighty, we're over at our tortilla station. I got a couple of tortilla shells. Now if I really want to, I can take these and heat them up in the microwave um, or throw them in my skillet there and heat them up in the skillet. Um, or you don't have to. We're just going to eat them plain like this today just for the heck of it. Sorry, this is my clock. It's noon. Let's put a little bit of this onion in here. I 
I'm just going to use the good old American cheese. Take half of that roughly for each one. Uh, let's take our shrimp and put about half of the shrimp in one, half in the other. See, it actually, I didn't have that much. Uh, it didn't look like that much, but when you start piling stuff in here, it starts adding up, doesn't it? Uh, you don't want your wrap too big. Now, my plate here, I'm going to take this and empty it into the sink there that way I can just do this just makes it easier on me you can put this in a bowl after you're done or whatever you want to do and that's that's it super super simple now I could add to this whatever I want I could add in some uh, jalapenos I can add in so, uh, you know, whatever, um, whatever you have leftovers, you can do. Next time you're going to have to catch us because we're going to be making the same wraps, but I'm going to show you how to do a buffalo barbecue chicken using chicken nuggets. But first, let's taste. All right, so I'm taking my wrap. I'm going to fold it and kind of wrap it up like this, just... However I can, oops, sorry, uh, kind of fold it up like this just to hold everything in and uh, give it a try. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's good. That little bit of lime at the end, mm. I didn't put much, but boy, does it make a difference. Mm. See, and we're still getting a lot of drippage out of this thing. Mmm. Good grief, this is good. If you're a college student and want some flavor that will kick you in the mouth, oh my gosh, this is hard to beat. When you've got cafeteria food that's usually pretty bland because they have to cater to a lot of different people, this is good, and if you already have all the parts, this is maybe three bucks, something like that. It's not expensive at all. So hopefully you got something out of this. Use your imagination. Try this and then expand it. You can use whatever you want in here. If you've got some leftover hamburger from a hamburger you didn't eat, you can take the hamburger out, chop it up, use beef in here, um, add in some taco seasoning, just sprinkle some hot sauce on it. Put some salsa in with it. Put some ranch in with some chicken and barbecue like we're going to do next time around. Stuff like that. Super, super easy stuff to do. Extremely expense, inexpensive. Very quick to make, but very delicious. So, hope you got something out of this. We'll see you later.